friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. And today is Thanksgiving. Ha ha ha. Happy Thanksgiving for those of you who are celebrating today. I know my Canadian friends, you've already had Thanksgiving. But for many of us here in the States, today is a day to eat lots of food and be thankful and spend time with family. And it probably, if you're like me, looks a little different than Thanksgiving's in the past. I'm kind of sad that I'm sitting here in my own house instead of at my mom's in New York, but we just decided it'd be wise to stay home. So we will be celebrating over Zoom. <laughs> We're planning to eat at the same time and Zoom each other, my mom and my brother, and two of my brothers, my mom, my sister will be at home together and then my brother and I here. So we will Zoom together, hopefully. And yeah, it just looks a little different, but there are still lots of things to be thankful for. I found a booktube Thanksgiving tag that I have never done before. There are quite a few that I found Thanksgiving tags out there, uh, but this is one that I haven't done before. So I thought I would spend some time today sharing some things that I'm thankful for this year. So the original creator and video will be listed down below if you want to go check out the original tag that I found. I'm not sure how old it is, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Number one is a book that you're thankful for. And you can look at this in a lot of different ways. Maybe a book that changed your opinion on something or a book that really means a lot to you. I'm literally talking about books that were gifted to me this year. I am so thankful <laughs> more than any other year. This is my, I'm in my fourth year. Yeah, in April will be my fifth booktube anniversary. So I've been on booktube for quite a while and this year more than any other year, I have been gifted books by so many of you and it has been such a blessing to me. I am not someone who reaches out to publishers and tries to receive new copies of books because I'm the queen of the backlist. I have hundreds of books on my shelves that I want to read. So I would feel bad about requesting books and then not getting to them right away. So this year, it has just meant a lot to get book mail from so many of you, um, in particular books that I received for my birthday. And so I'm gonna just talk about three of the Ella Montgomery books that I received this year. I was sent three Ella Montgomery books that are just so beautiful this year for my birthday. And one of them is The House of Dreams, The Life of Ella Montgomery. This is a middle grade nonfiction that I read in September. I did a little Kindred Spirit September because I had received quite a few Anne of Green Gables books. Um, Judy sent me the Anne of Green Gables cookbook, which is so fun. And I'm actually making the mac and cheese out of there for Thanksgiving. And then Becca sent me The Landscapes of Anne of Green Gables, which is just a gorgeous kind of coffee table book. Oop, I don't want to lose that. Um, so I'm super thankful for those. And number two kind of goes along with number one. It's a book that you haven't read yet that you are thankful for. And I, like I said, you guys blew me away, especially my birthday this year in July, even outside of my birthday, but especially in July, I just received so many books and I couldn't gather all of them, but I just, I just picked up a stack more. So I'll just show you real quick. Another nonfiction, I'm still here. Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown was sent to me. In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. The Secret Orphan by Glynis Peters. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. The Book Charmer by Karen Hawkins and The Lost Orphan by Stacey Halls. All of these are books I have not have not yet gotten to, but they're ones I'm very excited for and that you guys so graciously and kindly sent to me. And I am just so thankful. I'm just so thankful for you, for this community and the way that you bless me this year. So that was really fun. Number three is something about reading that you're thankful for and I always, almost always, I should say, read for entertainment and slight escape from reality, which was kind of needed this year. So I just, I, I, I love when a book can take me away to a life that's different than mine, a place that's different than mine, or people that are similar to me, or a family setting, bring me comfort and joy and entertainment. Yeah, I, I books provide me with all of those things. <laughs> And I'm so thankful for that. Number four is a booktube experience that you had this year that you are thankful for. And I have two separate things I'm gonna talk about. The first is Middle Grade March. 
Middle Grade March this year in 2020 was our third year of of doing Middle Grade March. Uh, I host Middle Grade March with Katie from Life Between Words. She's mostly on Instagram now, mainly, I think only really on Instagram now. Uh, dear friend, love her to pieces. We host Middle Grade March every year. And this year in particular, it was so nice to be buried in middle grade books at the beginning of this pandemic. So we didn't know what the future was going to hold. There was a lot of uncertainty. There still is, but especially in March this past year, there was a lot up in the air. There was a lot of uncertainty. There was a lot of fear um, coming from a lot of places and a lot of information just wasn't there. And to be able to get steeped in middle grade books, um, which are filled with hope and light and love and kindness and goodness and just a lot of these virtues that I treasure in books, in particular middle grade books. It just was the perfect timing, I think, to have middle grade March and, and our weekly lives that we did on Instagram every week and just checking in with people and seeing how they were doing and chatting about middle grade books was just such a positive memory in the midst of this chaotic, somewhat chaotic year. Um, and the other booktube related experience that I love is Buddy Reads. I have done so many Buddy Reads this year and I'm so thankful for the way that it helps me to read more critically in a way, like to think about what I'm reading a little bit more. I don't always like to do that, but it is good every once in a while. And the way that it helps me to see things from a different perspective, um, the way that it helps me to notice things that I might not have noticed on my own, um, and the way that it helps me to get to know other people outside of just watching their videos or them commenting on my videos. So I've done buddy reads with both subscribers and other booktubers this year, and it's most definitely been a highlight for me 100% and I'm so so thankful for all the people that I've done buddy reads with this year thank you so much number five is to name three channels that you're thankful for and naming only three is really difficult for me so I will say first off that I'm super thankful for Sarah and Lindsay Sarah from Sarah's nightstand and Lindsay from Lindsay's little library I talk to these ladies on a very consistent basis and they have become friends like real life friends, even though we've never met in real life, we talk about things outside of just what we're reading. Um, we talk about life, we talk about their families and our just what's going on in our lives. I've vented to them about work and just so, so thankful for their friendship. And Amanda as well from The Curly Reader has become that kind of a friend too. We don't quite talk as much as I talk with Sarah and Lindsay, but definitely, definitely have connected with her on a deeper friendship level. And I'm so, so thankful for those three channels. Definitely check them out if you haven't already. Uh, but I'm also, there's some like newer newer people that I have just discovered this year. Uh, Sarah and Amanda and Lindsay I've been following for years and have connected with for years. And newer to me this year, people that I I can see becoming friends, and there's so many of you, but in particular Chantel at An Intentional Life. I feel like we have some commonalities in our reading and lives and so I'm looking forward to chatting with her more and Chloe from Always Booked is just the sweetest and kindest and an encourager and I absolutely love her and also a brand new booktuber brand new booktuber to me is Melissa from Libraries and Labradors she's super sweet and so enthusiastic about joining this community and I just think she's lovely and I'm really excited to see not only where her channel grows goes but we have already talked about possibly doing a buddy read someday soon and I'm looking forward to getting to know her better. So there's like three older channels that I love and three newer channels that mean a lot to me. So that's six. I'm, I'm keeping it under wraps a little bit. <laughs> Number six is three videos that you've watched lately that you're thankful for. And I don't have specific videos, but I do have types of videos. So lately I've really loved a couple Q&A videos that I've seen. A couple people have hit some milestones like Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky, Dostoevsky in Space and um, Book Boop, I forget her first name. Um, both of them have hit 500 lately and did Q&As. I think Rainy recently did a Q&A or the, sometime this year. I love Q&A videos. I feel like it's such a fun way to get to know people outside of kind of their current reads or their recommendations videos. I love those as well, but 
I like to see Q&As because I like to get glimpses of life outside of or like beyond just books. Um, so I'm really thankful for those. I also love the trend towards live videos lately. I feel like it's just been in the last couple months and maybe it's because of <laughs> this pandemic and isolation and stuff. It's a way to get connected um, beyond just the comments and videos. And I've myself tried a, a hand at some lives once I saw other people really doing it. I'm like, oh, I need to try this too. And I love it. I love hopping in. Ashley from the bookish, um, bookish realm has some fantastic lives and she really um, facilitates some really good discussion on booktube, the booktube world and the community here, but also life outside of that. And I really appreciate her lives. I haven't hopped onto all of them, but um, I have the ones that I have, I've really enjoyed. Um, Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany gets really creative with her lives as well. Um, and then the romance crew, <laughs> Sarah at a Bookish, the Bookish Knitter and Chloe and Brie. Um, and others that they have on with them occasionally do lives and I really love those as well. They're just, oh, I don't read nearly as much romance as they do, but I, I love hopping onto their lives and just hearing them chat and joining in the conversation there. So much fun. And the third type of video that I'm so thankful for is not booktube related at all, but um, this year, I don't even know how I discovered them. I don't know if someone else told me about them, but I have fallen in love with Maverick City Music. Uh, it's a worship group team. Their channel, the channel is called Tribal, T-R-I-B-L, that I've subscribed to. And every once in a while they have a, a new live um, worship song that they, that they put on their channel. And it has brought me so much joy <laughs> to watch these worship experiences. I... I love it. First of all, I love the music. I love the the worship experience that they are sharing. Um, and I love that to me, it's like a slice of heaven because there's lots of different colors and sizes and types of people represented in these videos. And it's just beautiful to me and so worshipful. And in this year of potentially being stressed out or have anxiety or just the uncertainty of things, it's nice to to kind of be centered. There's lots of ways that I center myself and spend time with God, but but these videos have been a highlight for me and something I'm very thankful for. So if you are into worship music, maybe check out Maverick City Worship because I love them. <laughs> um, and then number seven is five things that you're thankful for this year. And I could list 50 things I'm thankful for, but I am thankful for Zoom. I've never used Zoom until this year. And it, the way that it helped um, over the summer in particular, or in, over the spring and summer, I led a small group with my church on Zoom and connected with my family on Zoom. And I just feel like Zoom has been, I, had, I went to an author event that Katie from Light Between Words hosted with uh, Amor Tolls. And um, there were other author events as well, but that's one in particular that I really loved. I'm just thankful for technology and Zoom in particular in helping us to stay connected. I'm thankful for my church and the way that they have handled this whole pandemic and are still doing what they can to help people stay connected and be safe. And we do have church, it's still open, but they are doing everything they can to make sure it is safe for everybody. Masks are required. They took out every other row of seating so that you are, everything is six feet apart. Yeah, they're just, there's caps on the number of people, all of these things. They're doing what they can to still keep us connected to each other and to meet together, but also be safe. And I'm so thankful for the way that they are leading. My thought process and other churches even re look to our leadership to see what they're doing and I just, I really appreciate them. Um, I'm thankful for the beautiful weather. I'm so thankful that I live in Virginia <laughs> because getting outside has been essential for me, going on a walk in my neighborhood, um, just going outside in any way, sitting on my back porch even, has been essential in this time of being at home way more than I have been in the past. I'm thankful to live in a climate that allows me to do that a lot more often than I would be able to had I still be living in the Northeast. Number four, I'm thankful 
that I have family nearby. I'm, I love living in Virginia, but I don't have very much family nearby, but I do have a cousin who lives about an hour away and we have gotten together a couple times. She has a pool. So over the summer I was like, Hey, can I just come sit on your back porch and hang out in your pool? <laughs> She's like, get over here. So I did that a couple times over the summer um, where we weren't really hanging out too much, but I was at least outside and able to connect with them. And then most recently you guys might have watched my weekend vlog where we had a games weekend. So much fun. I'm just so thankful to have family, some family, even if it's a little bit of family that lives within driving distance. <laughs> and then number five, I'm so thankful that I believe in and serve a God that has been a rock for me. That is a foundation that never changes when everything else around you around me is like potentially stormy and crazy and uncertain i am confident that my feet are planted on a rock that is firm that is solid that is a support and a and a strength in my life and i'm just so thankful for that I'm thankful for that confidence that i have so that is the fifth thing that I'm thankful for, and that is the end of this tag. And I just want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving, whatever it looks like for you today. I hope that you feel loved. I hope that you're turning your heart towards things that you're thankful for. I hope that you just have the most wonderful day. And I'm so thankful for you all being a part of this corner of my world. <laughs> and I will talk to you in another video very soon. Bye.